Hello, welcome to Garden Chronicles. My name is James David, and today I would like to talk about my black colocasia and alocasia collection here in my garden. So this video is a little going to be more on the light and easy tones, as I've covered most of the essential uh, care and cultivation factors in all of my older videos. This is very much more on the update. So sit back and enjoy the show, and I hope you uh, would like to see what I have in my collection. Coming to this very basic essential uh, colocasia known as black magic, you would have known the, the characteristics of the colors that it changes due to the, the, freak, uh, the in intensity of the light that it receives. Here you can see that uh, when it actually receives strong light, it seems to turn more into a black matted kind of colorization and so this is one of the things so very unique about black magic colocasia i must say that some people do find that this is a little bit invasive and uh, uh, already has come to a place where uh, this colocasia has become a hand-me-down plant where it's often given away as gifts for free so uh, what you have to take note of is that uh, if you are new to uh, colocasias, I would totally recommend you to try your hands on uh, black magic first before you get your hands on uh, more of the premium plants. Another factor about it here is that uh, they do tend to grow large and one of the characteristics is that you find that they are kind of a, a red uh, burgundy dot in the center and uh, this is one of the things that is one of the characteristics when it comes to black magic another factor about this particular plant is that they are very much aquatic kind of a plant where you need to be in constant water i had some challenges on this that uh, when it comes to keeping them in uh, more uh, contained water with uh, standing water on a pot and that is a big issue in my place because uh, there's a lot of mosquito breeding and especially the dangerous one especially the ADs so I have actually transferred them all to a drainage pot and uh, there are some plus and minus uh, factors on this and one of it is because uh, due to lack of water I have to water them at least twice a day and if I fail to do so the leaves do tend to burn away so it is a little bit of a challenge but it's better to be safe than sorry so coming back to the rest of the collection this is uh, black ripple which is actually doing fine uh, one of the things that I also notice is that they do tend to grow bigger as they age so uh, one of the things that I don't do is that I do not constantly repot them or re remove the uh, babies that form at the site. Rather, I'll just uh, give them heavy feeding and just let them be and they're actually very happy. Uh, this particular one, Illustris, uh, seems to be a little bit tricky uh, because they do tend to disappear when they go dormant. However, it does come back uh, maybe after three or four months. Uh, that what could be one of the features that has very similar like a caladium. Other than that, uh, I find that the when the plant is established, especially something like this black magic and black ripper, they are actually quite stable plants. And once they are established, there's actually nothing to be worried about. As I mentioned, if you can notice there's some slight burns at the side of the leaves is due to lack of watering. I have come across some gardeners who do tend to trim off all the matured and spent leaf hoping for a newer leaf to become very big and it does have those features 
but however i'm actually happy with uh, the effects that it's actually giving to me now so i i'm i'm just satisfied in what the plant is giving to me another plant features that i've actually been noticing here is that uh, when this when the leaves dries off the stems tend to become very messy looking hence uh, they do need this maintenance of removing off all this dried and spent leaf uh, due to their messy look kind of thing i even trim off here the earlier one the part that i'm showing to you because the leaf is already spent and it's quite messy looking so that a little bit of uh, care and maintenance is required at least a week once a week on trimming this is my new uh addition to my collection this is a uh, black coral which is given to me for a plant exchange i've actually exchanged it for a black ripple plant i actually had uh this uh, coral black coral before way back then but it died on me because i bought for something just very very small and tiny and uh, this is one of the things about these plants never purchase them when they are small do get a medium size even if it's expensive it doesn't matter because if you were to get something very small the plant just dies in your hand oh this is another one it is a lemon lime gecko uh, very, it is considered some of uh it was one time ago a highly sought after plant but now it is in a very affordable price i also got this uh, exchange for a black reaper so sometimes this is one of the things that i actually do that uh, i'll propagate and i'll just check around if anybody have some other spare plants and i will exchange them with this uh, collection there are other very expensive premium plants such as uh, uh, pharaoh's mask or even white lava and that kind of plants but i'm actually satisfied with this uh, colors and these plants this is another famous plant known as teacup uh, the bigger version is known as a coffee cup but uh, i got a feeling both are actually the same plant uh, hence uh, what you call that the uniqueness about this particular one is that it has this cup shape uh, formation and i found that this is the only alocasia that has this unique features in comparison to so many other uh, alocasia plants uh, this is the only one that has this uh, water holding features and if you look at this this is uh, another plant black stem alocasia will have the same colors and the same features of the leaf factor but that particular one holds water and this is more of the common uh, upright version okay this is one of the big problems that are actually facing currently this is the attack of the spider mites on the surface of the leaf i have been using uh meaty side on them for some time uh, but it seems to be coming back uh, and uh, it's sort of like how do you say it's a menace to me because uh, i've been constantly trimming off the leaf and handling it but uh, it seems to come back so this is one of the prices that you may have to pay uh, when it comes to colocations because uh, uh, it's not so much of a irid ir eradication rather than it's more of a check and control and the element here is that uh, consistency on application of meaty side actually make those difference so another thing that i've also noticed that uh, meat, uh, spider mites do not like too much water on the leaves uh, so, i mean uh, where they stay so over constantly washing them or watering them actually help them uh, help the plant for keeping the spider mite deterred from that so it's uh, something that I learned a little bit here and there through experience. So at times you just can't do much with it because uh, uh, when it comes to alocasias and colocasias, spider mite is just part and parcel of the situation. It's a smaller version of uh, uh, what do you call this? Uh, black coral. Uh, also, I got this from a friend. Earlier it was a very big plant, but I think it all died back and become is starting all over again. So ap application, fertilizing, uh, fertilizer application is one of the most important things because uh, I believe the black colored uh, leaves, uh, plants, 
do not really make much of their food because they are not making their own photosynthesis so heavy feeding is required or else they will slowly shrivel and die away i now come to the conclusion of my video and uh, if you have any questions do put them in the comment below and i'll try my best to answer them in my best ability if it is possible please do click uh, like and subscribe and support my channel i will really appreciate if you can help me out on this other than that have a nice day happy day and gardening take care and i see you in my next video take care bye